Today I want to talk to you about family court abuse and post-traumatic stress disorder and we are joined by our resident cat. This is Bob and Boo might pop over later. So the fact that you've got to go to court to either try and co-parent or to see your own children suggests that you've been in a relationship with someone who is abusive. And when we're in abusive relationships, we're in a constant state of hypervigilance. We are always thinking, when's the next threat coming? What mood are they going to be in? And that leads to high levels of adrenaline and cortisol, the stress hormones which is essentially our fight, flight, freeze or flop response. Long-term exposure to that, so if you've been in that relationship for a long time, it can develop into a stress disorder or, or even post-traumatic stress disorder and complex post-traumatic stress disorder. What you're probably feeling is a lot of brain fog, um, difficulty sleeping, you might be sleeping too much, you might be sleeping too little, your emotions are either overwhelming or you feel completely numb, you really have struggle um, verbalising what went on, it's hard for you to be coherent in the storytelling of what happened and every time you have to, you are re-triggered by that. So you, you've got all of that going on for you as a result of that relationship. And normally what happens, you end those sort of relationships or you end any relationship and you have time and space away to regroup, do some work on yourself and some healing just to come out of that and to start to feel better. When you've got kids together, though, you one, you have to re remain in contact with them on some level. So you don't have that space and that time to get over it properly. No contact is ideal. But when you can't do that and you are attempting to co-parent, then you again are being re-triggered by that person, not just the memories, but they will continue to behave in the same way and expect you to respond in the same way. And so you what sometimes happens is when you've come out of that relationship you've gone from having no voice not being heard not being listened to to suddenly wanting everyone to hear what's gone on or at least be able to, to speak up and so you can become quite forceful in the way you want to tell your story because it's the first time in a long time that you've been able to do so when you so you've got kids together and so you're being constantly re-triggered and then they start to use the kids to hurt you, to punish you, and you're plunged into a family court arena, which in itself can be abusive. And so you've got all your own symptoms that you develop. You've not been given the time and the space to deal with them. So you're bringing that into the into the court arena which then re-triggers you time and time again because not only do you have to deal with your ex but you're also having to defend yourself quite a lot and deal with allegations that the behaviors stay the same within the family court arena there's just a whole load more people to observe and often they can become their own flying monkeys within this and so you are being abused again by the system as well as by your ex. On top of that, you've got this psychological wound, essentially, um, which you haven't got the time to heal. It's like having a broken leg and someone keep kicking it. It won't heal. It just won't heal. And so you're in this place. And you're already thinking, because you've been in a relationship which has belittled you, which has made you feel probably quite incapable, and you're in a system that equally makes you feel like that. So you've got your own internal battle with, can I do this? Am I, do, I, do I deserve this? And so there's a lot going on for you when you enter the family court arena. But what also happens is that fight, flight, freeze or flop response can be completely misinterpreted so the flight response can easily be seen as being neglectful or isn't bothered um 
and that couldn't be further from the truth it's just you can't deal with what they're what's going on it's too it's too much for you the fight response can be interpreted as being aggressive and abusive the freeze response can be interpreted as being not really there not with it quite cold which emotionally unavailable which when you're talking about kids it is not a good good um assumption and the flop well that's unstable and so your natural body response that was developed when man mankind first existed to help us deal with the um threat of predators we knew we had a physical response that we needed to get the hell out of there or curl up like a ball and hope that you're not eaten that natural biological response is then used against you which is further abusing you and so it's a really really toxic mix and it just makes things very hard for victims to get the result that they want but you can i've worked really hard on developing a program to help you to do this to help you to overcome those symptoms and find a way to better present yourself through this through this process of trying to heal alongside being re-triggered all the time so it's called our get caught ready program and it will be out on monday so do head to the nurturecoach.co.uk and the details will be on there but it is very powerful it is it's, it's the only program of its kind that is purely court focused um so all the details are on the website i won't i won't go into them all here but you are in a situation where you are being re-abused and so the program get caught ready is all about that it's all about how do you manage your emotions your your symptoms of this stress related disorder in an environment which is very stressful and so yeah there you go hopefully speak to you soon and like i say do check it out at www.thenitrincoach.co.uk speak soon bye bye